Hi, I'm Belly from Greenwood Solutions. Today's presentation is on energy rating of appliances, specifically fridges. We've all bought appliances before, so what criteria do we use to pick one fridge over another? After watching this video, you'll understand and have the correct tools to make the right decision. We'll look at the time value of money, we'll look at the difference in savings between some of the more expensive fridges and the cheaper ones, and a whole host of other factors. If you like what you see, hit that subscription button. Let's get stuck into it. The Equipment Energy Efficiency Program is a cross-jurisdictional program through which the Australian Government, States and Territories and the New Zealand Government collaborate to, to deliver a single integrated program on energy efficiency standards and energy labelling for equipment and appliances. The objectives are to reduce energy bills for households and businesses in a cost-effective way by driving improvements to the energy efficiency of new appliances and equipment sold and to improve the energy efficiency of new appliances and equipment that use energy and to also improve the energy performance of products that have an impact on energy consumption and to reduce appliance and equipment related greenhouse gas emissions through a process which complements other actions by jurisdictions. So with this energy rating program, various manufacturers have to submit their appliances and they have to be tested. And after the testing, they are assigned a star value and also um, a kilowatt hour usage per year. So the star rating is about energy efficiency. That is how efficient a model is relative to other models of the same size. The more stars means more efficient when compared to other models of the same size or approximate size. Most products are given between one and six stars. However, technology keeps getting better, as does energy efficiency. This is why nowadays you'll see some super efficient models in shops and online with an extra row for stars, as they can have up to 10 stars, which is huge. Always choose which size or capacity model you need first then use the star rating to compare them. Most people tend to buy fridges that are a bit too large and they're not fully utilising that excess capacity. So really sit down and work out what size fridge you need. In most cases, it's probably going to be smaller than the one that you've originally picked. So we now know how to select the best appliance for our needs, or do we? If, for example, we use the star rating system, we find a fairly large variation in results because this rating system allows, allows for a range. If we want to live sustainably, we should be looking at the purchase of energy efficient appliances. But how do we make that decision? Do we look at the warranty of the, of the product? Do we look at the cost? Do we look at the cost to run? Do we look at the aesthetics? Do we look at what we could do with the extra money if we did buy a cheaper model, or do we look at all of the above? Now here we have a table, and under brand, we have various brands, we have various names, and then you can see in the fourth column there is capacity, and the star rating in the next column, and then the usage in kilowatt hours per year. So you can see it ranges from 202 to 602 kilowatt hours a year. Next to that, there's the purchase price. And in the next column, what I've done is I've calculated per litre capacity, so if you look at the capacity of the fridges in column three, and what they use per year, there's a simple calculation that I've determined the amount of kilowatt hours used per year per litre. In the next column is the all important one. How much does the appliance cost to run? And I've assumed 28 cents per kilowatt hour. And you can see the range from $56.66 per year up to $168.56. Now, if you go back to the column three, the range of sizes of uh, capacity wise are pretty close. So if you look at number one, 519 litres, compared to the one right at the bottom, 512. So the six star rating and the two star rating. I've calculated the cost to run per year, per litre at 28 cents per kilowatt hour. And you can see the range from 11 cents all the way up to 33. And then the last column, 
I've calculated the pur purchase cost per litre capacity. And you can see in the six star example, the purchase cost per litre capacity is $3.27, as opposed to the one right down the bottom, it's $1.95 per litre. So there's a lot of information there, so spend the time looking at that table. Here we are over the board, and we've got the two fridges that we've referenced in the presentation. So we have the cheaper fridge over here, uh, $998 purchase price, and we have the more expensive fridge, $1,699. And the difference is considerable, $701. Now, the size of the fridge is this one here is 512 litres, and this is 519. So for all intensive purposes, they're the same size fridge. And I urge you, when you're making a selection for your appliances, don't buy it too large. Work out the right size fridge before you start looking. Now, in year one, this fridge at um, 28 cents per kilowatt hour has used $168.56 worth of electricity. And this is directly from its kilowatt hour rating per year. Whereas year one, this fridge, it's more expensive, but more efficient. Year one, it's used $56.66. This is a two star fridge, and this is a six star fridge. So you can see straight away, there's a considerable difference. Now, if we calculate um, that electricity will actually increase per year at 2%, the differences um, become really apparent. So after six years, this $701 difference disappears. But the story must go on. This is not the, the be all or end all. You'd have to look at the time value of money. So if I said to myself, you know something, I'll invest that $701 difference um, in a bank, do I still, should I still buy um, this cheaper fridge? What if we decide to buy the cheaper model and do something else with the money? So what we are talking about is the time value of money. In this table on the left hand side, we've got the difference in the purchase price between the most efficient and the least efficient fridge. And it's a difference of $701. Now the time taken to recoup that difference is six years. So the actual savings over six years, if the more efficient fridge had been, would, had been purchased, is in the order of $705. The difference in purchase price, if the cheaper fridge, the Hisense French door fridge was purchased and invested for six years, at 2% interest compounded monthly, is $790. So based on that calculation, it says buy the cheaper fridge. Now, if you look over at the the table on the right, it, it's a comp compound interest calculator that says the amount of investment, 701, the interest rate, the interest rate per period, we've compounded it uh, monthly, so there's 72 periods, and the investment value at the end of the term. The time taken to recoup difference based on more efficient fridge is six years, but if we invest money at the 2% interest compounded monthly at the end of six years, we are $84.39 better off. So, if we were just looking purely at money, you would buy the cheaper fridge. And this was very surprising to me. But what about after 10 years? After 10 years, the calculation tells us to buy the more efficient fridge. What these calculations don't take into account is warranty life, replacement value, aesthetics, and also what about higher interest rates? Warranty, the factor of warranty and replacement value go beyond um, the scope of this presentation, but they do warrant investigation. So this table has a, quite a bit of information on it, but effectively on the left-hand column, you have differing interest rates. The second column shows the difference in purchase price between the more expensive and the cheaper fridge, and that's gonna be the same. And the time taken in years to recoup the difference is the same as well. And the savings over 10 years, if more efficient fridge has been purchased, will be the same based on that same increase in electricity costs. 
The difference though is if I invest this money at different interest rates, all compounded monthly. So for example, at 2%, it still tells me to buy a more efficient fridge. All the way up to 5.5%. If the interest rate goes to 6%, then it tells me to buy the cheaper fridge. So those cost savings over that 10 year period at 6% are outweighed by the fact that I can invest the difference in the purchase price between the two models for 10 years. So that's the point. Realistically, you're not gonna get 6% in 2021. Conclusion. When looking at fridges, you have to look at the star rating of the appliance, then the kilowatt hours used per year, then calculate the cost per volume of a fridge to run over different time periods, five, six, seven, 10 years. Don't forget the time value of money, warranty, replacement costs, and other factors. Good luck. Thanks so much for watching our presentation on energy rating appliances refrigeration. I'm Veli from Greenwood Solutions. If you have any inquiries, any questions, any answers, please feel free to drop us a line. And if you like what you see, hit that subscription button and see you next time.